Kalau rakyat biasa, makcik, apa nama, apa, gelang pink dan juga Haji Saleh di, 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 di hukum. Tapi kalau seorang menteri, dilindung. Dilindung. Hanya dengan seribu. Sedangkan pelanggaran dia, bagi saya, saya dimaklumkan bahawa hampir lebih daripada lima ataupun mungkin sampai sepuluh kali. Tak kena-kena soalan. Kena-kena soalan. Menteri itu bawa pelaburan 82 bilion. Menteri itu pergi Turki nak selamatkan negara. Movement control order was implemented by the Federal Government of Malaysia on 18 March 2020. This is because our world has been attacked by COVID-19 pandemic. This MCO brought our country to a lockdown status. This lockdown has brought a drop to our economy. On 7 of June, our Prime Minister Mujidin Yassin announced that our country will implement the brand new recovery movement control order RMCO. Students are able to go to school again, people are able to go to the supermarket to shop again, but with the requirement of wearing a face mask. Many of us did, but very least of us did not. If you are going to a trip outside the country, you have to get quarantined and check whether you are infected by the virus or not. However, our Minister of Plantation Industry and Commodities, Dr. Mohammad Khairuddin bin Amar Razali, did something otherwise. Khairuddin has get a 1,000 ringgit Malaysia compound because he did not comply with the 14 days quarantine rule which is set by KKM. In his statement, he returned to Malaysia on 7th of June and his swab test had a negative result. He also explained that his trip to Turkey is a semi-formal trip with his family members which means that he is working and having fun at the same time. He had meetings with industrial players in Turkey along with Malaysian Compound Oil Consult to discuss exporting Malaysia's palm oil which might be at least 300,000 tons of palm oil. On 18th of August, Sibuti MP Teresa Kot said that Khairuddin's trip to Turkey was actually an unofficial trip. On 31st of August, Musidu Am Dato Hashim Justin from PS said that Khairuddin should be treated as a hero during his return from Turkey because he brought a good news from Turkey that will economically save our country. Instead, if someone has to blame, it is the Ministry of Foreign Affairs because they pointed out that Khairuddin did not quarantine and make him attacked by the people. As a minister of federal government, I think he should be a good model but instead he break the rule with the reason that he was actually as saving our country. This actually seems like he used an excuse to get away with it. We don't care whether the Turkey deal is true but if you are wrong just apologize. Khairuddin had returned his salary in May until August as a minister. This is the table of the amount of Malaysia palm oil exports to Turkey yearly from MBOB. If in 2020, Malaysia export 300,000 tons of palm oil, it's actually a drop in palm oil trade with Turkey. If this trade is successful, it could be an earning which costs up to 82 billion ringgit Malaysia. Till today, there is no evidence that shows that what Khairuddin said is true. According to KKM, all of the returnees from foreign countries must be quarantined for 14 days for safety purposes, the returnees will do the swab test again on the 13th day and allow to leave on the 14th day if the swab test is negative. If we compare the COVID-19 cases between Turkey and Malaysia, we can see that Turkey's situation is far more severe than Malaysia. Why not do the safest move, which is to quarantine ourselves? If Khairuddin brought along his family, there is possibility that any of them will get infected and spread the virus to the others. This is a huge risk because they hardly confirm that they are uninfected. After his return to Malaysia, it is found that he is still attended the events as usual. In conclusion, the investigation had been made against him. During this COVID-19 pandemic, we must be aware of the spreading of virus by wearing the mask. If you like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe to my channel.